first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some stuff in. I'm gonna go in my ebook mobile application that I did a couple weeks ago. We're gonna take this, copy, and we're just gonna bring that in here. And we're gonna use these babies to kind of try to get this same effect that we had on this dribble example here. We have this whole group, perfect. So I'm going to make this a little bit of a color first. I might actually take this blue really quick and then just desaturate it a little bit. And I'm gonna take our little edges here. I only want the top ones here to curve. So I'm gonna take 15 here, 15 on the other side. Perfect, so we, got, we have our nice little curves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So we have our first icon here and we want it on click to pop up. So we are gonna take our little circle thing, our uh, ellipse tool, we're gonna turn off the border, we're gonna steal this blue here. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just ungroup this navigation here, okay? We don't, we don't need all that for right now. So I'm gonna bring this here. I'm gonna bring it below our little house right here. And again, I'm gonna turn the border on just, just for right now so I can see what I'm doing. Once we click, we want it to like skyrocket. Let's combine these. We're gonna group these two and we are gonna just duplicate this R board for right now. So we are going to on click, we want this to come up. It's super simple and super important to go step by step when you're designing stuff, all right? If you just design stuff very like super quickly and you don't test like what you're prototyping, the shit could just be busted. Okay, so we're gonna go to our prototype thing here. We're gonna drag this over and we are going to get in. Our trigger is tap, auto animate. We're gonna do snap 0.3 seconds. All right, let's see what we got here just to make sure it's... Okay, that was slow as fuck. It was literally just like, make this a little bit faster, 0.2. I wonder why it was that slow. I'm actually gonna move a little bit further in this. Minimize this, turn the opacity to zero. When I click, I want this to go up and then shrink. So I'm gonna do a timed animation here. I'm gonna click this artboard, go to prototype, click on this artboard arrow, go to this artboard. And what I'm gonna do instead of the tap trigger, I'm gonna go to time, go to zero, duration, maybe 0.2. And we'll, we'll continuously refine this guys as we go. So boom. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make it so that nothing is selected so far. When we click it, it becomes selected. Let's change some of the names of this. Let's just turn this into home. Because with Adobe XD, the naming conventions are super important. Home circle. So we're gonna bring this back over here and we are going to bring it down just a little bit and scale it down, turn the opacity down. Why does it turn blue when it goes up there? It should not be turning blue. Why you turn blue? Okay, we're good here. We're good here. That That's how it should be. Duplicate, make it small, opacity down. Drag this down here, opacity down. Okay, now we can do our little timer thing. We're gonna play, boom, there we go. As it should. I am partnering up with Skillshare to bring you guys two months free of Skillshare to be able to learn absolutely anything. Skillshare has everything from UI design, UX design, creative writing, UI animation, and has a plethora of content for you guys to learn absolutely free for those two months that you get with signing up with my code. Check out Skillshare, get your first two months free. And with that said, one of my favorite courses is the UI UX animation course by Karim Bala, and it's absolutely amazing. So again, swipe up, get your first two months free, and learn to your heart's content. It didn't make any sense why I wasn't working like that before. I was just like, why this happened? We're gonna squeeze how we have in this example here. We're gonna squeeze the booty of the navigation, okay? I'm gonna pull this anchor point. I'm gonna double click in that. I'm gonna do this. So click. I'm gonna make this again our back thing just so I can, again, I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So this, we're gonna pull this up just a little bit. This is a little unorthodox, but Let's see if we can do like a little animation or tweening, I guess. So once it gets here, we're gonna, we have that time. I'm gonna go back to prototyping. We're gonna go to this intermittent, this middle piece here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back in and then it can disappear. Prototype, pull this on over. That was a little slow. So guys, all we gotta do is make it a little bit faster, boom. After this, after that snap, this can go back to where it was, so we just, we continue to have that movement, you know what I mean? Boom, let's try point one. And same thing here, let's try like point two. Closer, let's turn the opacity up. This is called home two. So I'm gonna put home two here. I'm gonna turn this opacity down as well. On click back, we don't want the house to come back down. 
So what I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to have an intermittent sort of uh, design ordeal for the prototype. So I'm gonna delete all of the home to I think this, you know, this first is uh, fast enough. Now we gotta, we're gonna do it with this book thing here as well. Go to design. This is zero opacity, perfect. We're gonna put home two on top here. Okay, we have home two. We have new house. Copy this here. It's also be here underneath. There we go. And I'm gonna turn a new house all the way down opacity wise. And we have a wind up. We don't really want wind up. We want. Um, Ease in, ease out, hit play. Boom, there we go, that was much better. Boom, boom. All right, so let's do this. Delete this, paste that in. Make sure to send it to the back by hitting control shift left bracket and that should be it and now i'm going to prototype to send this thing back home so i'm going to click this go to prototype and i already know there's going to be some funky stuff but let's let's do this so i'm going to actually copy this group 53 bring it here paste it but turn the opacity down we still have that problem so what we're going to do is we're going to go here go to our prototype we're going to move this here now that should work hey Yes. This is point three, so we're gonna make this point three as well. So that's good, that's good. Yeah, there we go, guys. We, mm, delicious. Who who got that fire right now? We 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 blazing. Mmm, 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 mmm. Alright guys, so one, two, three, four, it happens all around. And guys, that's it. begin we're gonna fill the background like this okay we're gonna start typing out hip-hop boom 